Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about how to find the greatest common factor, GCF, of three expressions. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem here, find the greatest common factor of 21x cubed, 9x squared, and 15x. Let's first go write each one of these num uh, expressions down. 21x to the third, underneath it I'll put my 9x squared, and lastly we have a 15x. What I'm going to do is rewrite each one of these, all right, and it's like prime factorization form. 21, let's start with that coefficient. 21 is 3 times a 7. So 3, I'm going to give it some space, you'll see why in a little bit, times a 7. From there, x cubed is next. x cubed is, well, x times x times x. Three x's. The next one here is the 9. 9x nine cubed. 9 itself breaks down to be 3 times a 3. Put a 3 here, and then to the right, I'll put another 3 as well. Then we get multiplied by 2 x's, x squared. I'll line that with the x's, x times an x. Lastly, we have a 15. Now, 15 breaks down to be a 3 times a 5. I'll put it right here, so it's a little off-center there. 3 times 5 is 15. That's its prime factorization. And then we just have the x left over. So how does this help us? Well, this helps us visualize, really, well, our greatest common factor. We want to find the GCF here. What is in, well, common in each one of these expressions? We see each one has one 3 in it, right there. And, well, each one also has an x in it, 1x, right there. And so the GCF of these three expressions is just 3 times x, or 3x. So again, the GCF of 21x cubed, 9x squared, and 15x is a 3x. I hope you learned something here on how to find the greatest common factor, GCF, of three expressions. If you did, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always... Thanks for watching.